And the next steps for uh, the advanced Omni wing will be to add additional support structure. This all goes on the uh, top surface of the wing, just like we'd applied the uh, top structure on the leading edge previously. Now to do that, you'll see I've made up a number of four folded rolls, the same as what we had made before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about that, that should do it. Go ahead and take a, a few minutes to roll those up and it'll be from the narrow the narrow width of the eight and a half by eleven. So it'd be a a one, two, three, four, and cut. make about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those and that'll be take a minute, shut the video off and then uh, come back when you've made up those rolls. <clears throat> okay, there's a, a multitude of ways to do this. Sometimes I'll uh, have a, a major cross structure, lay another uh, structure on the leading edge on both sides and then basically pack in the uh, rest of the nose here. We're going to do that sometimes though I'll do kind of more of a, uh, a V type uh, structure uh, but it gets really complicated and this is really the easiest way to go. So let's uh, start taping and this time let's try taping a little bit different. Now I'm using tape that's uh, the uh, three-quarter inch width. If you're using the half inch width tape I recommend that you buy the three-quarter of inch width because it gives you a lot of uh, room to work with there. And I'm just backing off from the leading edge a little bit there. And I'm going to tape the back side down first this time just for fun. Do it a little different. Remember not to be smashing your twist out. And I like to leave plenty of tape on the front side so that it can wrap clear under underneath the uh, leading edge. So you can see that I'm going to press it down initially, initially on the front, and then it'll roll over. like that. The other wing half. And we'll put a, uh, this will be the rearmost uh, cross spar. And what you want it to do is not be real near the front of the leading edge. You want it back a little bit, probably about half way into the uh, width of the uh, that structure. You want it at a 90 degree angle to the uh, center keel. Try this again. What I'm going to do is just press it in place in the center, then pick it up. You, this is when you can really 
take your twist out if you're not careful. So I'm rotating and twisting as I take that in place to preserve that all important twist in the wing. Tape on the front side. Take one of your uh, another roll and that like that. It's going to go just forward of the one that you just had taped down. Take another roll, and this will be a little, little shorty piece here. <clears> this <throat> serves a purpose threefold. Uh, we're shaping the airfoil. We're giving the wing structural rigidity, and we're putting weight in the right place, primarily towards the front of the aircraft. You put it to the rear, then it becomes tail heavy. And I've got two complete pieces left here. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'll tell you what, it looks pretty good like this. Let's not put those on. And uh, the next step that we'll be going to is the applying of the double surfaces to clean all this airflow up. But, let's take a check and see if this is going to fly, because if I don't have a flying aircraft at this point, I start over again. And no tuning of the aircraft is going to fly it right off the drawing board, I hope, here. Here we go. Turn going here. Yeah, it's going to work. All right, so work on that, and then uh, the next video will be the final video to show the uh, taping of the uh, um, top surfaces on. Thank you.